Hello, aviation enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of experimental aircraft with a spotlight on the Stipa Caproni, an Italian prototype that promised innovation and peculiar design during the interwar period. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories from the skies. Fly high, and we'll see you in the next video. In 1927, Luigi Stipa, a young Italian aeronautical engineer, began working on an unconventional aircraft design. Stipa's curiosity led him to explore the Venturi effect, a principle that describes the reduction of fluid pressure and the increase in velocity as it passes through a constricted section of a pipe. Stipa theorized that this principle could be applied to aircraft to enhance their performance. From 1928 to 1931, Stipa conducted extensive tests at the Aerodynamic Laboratory in Rome, using wind tunnels to determine the optimal shape for his tube-shaped fuselage, engine placement, and propeller speed. By 1931, he was confident enough in his findings to build a small working replica and publish his research in the Revista Aeronautica Journal. His work caught the attention of General Luigi Crocco, director of the Italian Air Ministry, who saw potential in Stipa's ideas and approved the construction of a full-scale prototype. The task of building the test aircraft fell to the Caproni aircraft manufacturer in Milan Taglietto. The prototype, designated Stipa Caproni, was ready for testing by October 1932. Despite its unusual appearance, the project received support as the pre-war period in Europe was marked by a willingness to explore unorthodox aviation designs. The Stipa Caproni was a two-seater aircraft characterized by its tube-shaped fuselage. It had a simple wooden construction covered in fabric, with wings mounted centrally on each side. The 120 HP de Havilland Gypsy 3 engine was positioned inside the fuselage, which functioned like a large airfoil. The aircraft also featured a fixed three-wheel landing gear, with two larger wheels in the front and a smaller one at the rear. Testing of the Stipa Caproni began in October 1932 at Monte Celio near Rome. The aircraft performed several successful flights, demonstrating that it could take off and fly without major issues. However, pilots noted several handling problems, the elevator controls were overly sensitive, while the rudder controls were stiff and required significant force to operate. Despite these issues, the aircraft was relatively easy to fly when gliding. The Stipa Caproni weighed 800 kilograms, 1,874 pounds, and achieved a maximum speed of 133 kilometers per hour, 83 miles per hour. It took 40 minutes to climb to 3,000 meters and required an 800 meter airfield for takeoff. Although it demonstrated stability and a unique aerodynamic profile, it did not offer significant advantages over conventional aircraft designs of the time. Despite the initial interest, the Stipa Caproni's potential was limited by its design constraints. Stipa himself believed that the true application of his principles lay in larger aircraft. However, the project lost momentum after a series of test flights in 1932 and 1933, and the aircraft was scrapped in 1939. The Stipa Caproni's design did catch the eye of the French company ANF Les Muros, which acquired a license to build a two-engine variant in 1935, but the project did not progress beyond initial stages. Luigi Stipa remained convinced that his ideas influenced later developments in jet propulsion, although his contributions were not widely recognized during his lifetime. He passed away in the early 1990s, still believing that his innovative design had been overlooked. In 1996, aviation enthusiast Guido Zuccoli began working on a smaller replica of the Stipa Caproni. Despite Zuccoli's untimely death in a landing accident, the replica was completed in 2001. Powered by a 72 HP Simonini racing engine, it achieved a flight distance of 600 meters, 1968 feet, before being displayed at the Zuccoli collection in Toowoomba, Australia. The Stipa Caproni remains a fascinating chapter in aviation history, showcasing the spirit of innovation and the willingness to explore unconventional ideas. While it did not revolutionize aircraft design, it provided valuable insights into aerodynamics and propulsion. 
If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of experimental aircraft, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for notifications on our latest uploads. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.